Looking over to Mr. Rainier, because he has something very important he wants to discuss with the committee. Thank you. Uh, just one thing, Jim, I, yeah, I don't know if you looked at the roster of the people who uh, voted in the last election, but uh, you beat out David Ortiz. Uh, he got, <laughs> I got a vote? He got a, he got a vote. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't make it, but yeah, you're, you know, you're right there. Right? <laughs> He's an alternate. Uh, I, I just have a few comments I'd like to make, and I've made notes because I like to keep all my thoughts in, in line here. After our last meeting, I reminisced a bit, as we elderly do on occasion, right, Michael? Specifically, my tenure as a member of this board. Reviewing the town reports, I discovered that I have served on this board for a total of 10 years, including my present term. All right, I started in, two, in 2000, served a couple terms, uh, had a hiatus for a while, and then back again. But over the past 14 years, I've been on this board for 10 years. During those, I'll use the term, early days, it was much different than it is now. We met in a classroom at the academy, since there was a room at the old town hall for 15 people, and truthfully, I don't recall our deliberations of the town budget award articles to being as in-depth as we are in the present. We now have an abundance of material, and you know, here's a telephone book size budget that we look at, and fruitful communications with the town manager, the finance director, and the department heads, as well as constructive dialogue within this board. This evolution has placed a burden on the chair of this committee to coordinate the scheduling of those officials. In fact, uh, looking at the responsibilities that we have that were just passed out tonight, <laughs> yeah. there's three pages there, I believe, right? The evolution has placed the burden of the chair on this committee to coordinate the scheduling of those officials at our meetings, the drafting of agendas, compiling and disseminating necessary information to this board in order for us to fulfill our fiscal responsibility. Which brings me to the discussion we had last month relative to the function of the chair and vice chair. I did a self-appraisal of my, of my past year as vice chair and concluded, number one, that I have failed on many occasions to relieve the chair, or shall we say, the aforementioned grunt work. Number two, am I in a position to assume the duties of the chair in that person's absence by having the technical skills to communicate with the board members and town officials? My answer to myself is no. Lacking a computer, I don't email. I don't have a smartphone for texting, and I would say that I am somewhat of a Luddite and that I have allowed by choice to let the electronic parade pass me by. But I do have a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> right up, you know, the latest technology. That's the latest right technology. Right yeah. right? <coughs> anyway, just a little humor. <laughs> It was a big battery and goes with it. Well, <laughs> and the antenna, you know, and the backpack with the battery. Anyway. I have one of those. Have you? Yeah. I had one, too. Having given serious thought to all of this, I have come to the conclusion that if I choose to continue as vice chair, it would be a disservice to both the chair and this board. So I am relinquishing my position, but will continue as a committee member until the end of my term. I thank those who voted for me and look forward to opening of dom nominations to my replacement. Thank you. Congratulations. And thank you. Thank you very much. Madam Chairman, if it's appropriate, I'd like to open the nominations. You may, you may but before you do that, okay. okay, that takes a lot of in-depth thinking, Richard, well, and proof that you have served us very well through all you. the years, 10 years plus, mm -hmm. that you've been with us and looking forward into the future and how we have to transition ourselves out. Um, it takes a big man to, um, to say that. So I thank you, sir. Thank you.